Hello. I'm Ant. I'm Hannah. And this is Art in the Corridor. We are Ant, Hannah and Mabel the Pup. We live and work from our 50 foot narrowboat home. Join us as we attempt to navigate the English canals and the world as full-time artists. Here we go. Down on the living room floor, let the secrets in through the door. What they keep and what they hide, river deep and river wide. Call them in and keep them coming, spirit into vessel running. What they got, you got too. Carrying. <laughs> uh, so we managed to get ourselves a scanner. Um, <laughs> I don't know if it was the best idea because we're technically we're sort of trying to save a bit of money, aren't we? But if we're going to do this little project yeah. where we're going to try and sell cards and that sort of thing, we're going to need a good scanner. Yeah. So we've done that. So the next thing is going to be choosing images. We've this is going to be the hard part. Yeah. Well, I mean, I must have close to a couple of hundred prints. These are my own ones. I always keep one. So. I mean, technically, I should sit and scan them all, shouldn't I? Well, yeah. Or, uh, or to begin with, because we we're going to do like a bit of a trial. Maybe I should just, the ones that have sold out, they should be, because they're obviously popular. Um, but I mean, look, there's, there's so it's many. It's quite nice going through them, isn't it? Because you forget yeah. what you've done. Yeah, and these were the commissions we've done for oh, the cafe boat. Hello, Vic and Joe. I hope you're well. <laughs> yeah. Hi, guys. Hi, Vic and Joe. We'll, we miss you and we'll come see you. Yeah, so, what do you reckon? What do we do? Go for them and pick. Yeah, but we were going to do like 10 to begin with, weren't we? So you want to do packs of five? I was going to sell them in packs of five. So maybe we, there should be like a pack of five that are boat related and a pack, pack of five, five that, that are non-boat non -boat related. related. <laughs> and maybe we'll start with sell out prints because obviously they were popular. Okay. See how we get on. And this thing's going to be the next challenge, isn't it? Setting this up. Yeah. Mm. Technology and us. <laughs> so these are the pictures I've picked to go on the set of boaty cards. So we're going to do two sets, one with boat pictures on. And these will be on A5 cards that you can use to send to people over Christmas or, I don't know, you might just want to keep them. <laughs> so these are the boaty images. And these are going to be the set of cards 
that are non-boat images. Now I know technically that's got boat in, <laughs> and this one's got a boat in, but they're not narrow boats. And so you'll be able to buy a pack of these images on to send to people or stick on your wall. <laughs> or frame them. Yeah, you could put them in frames. But they're going to be A5 cards and they are going to have the white board around as well. And we've done like high definition scans of these. So we'll let you know when they're available and we'll show them on one of the videos. But yeah, look forward to seeing how they turn out. I hold your hand and I show you photos of people you should know. Layer one of new print. Oh, that's a wicked colour. Have you used that before? Yeah, and it wasn't very good. Why is she whinging <laughs> at? It's because she's not getting any attention. What? What was the problem? Hey? I'll play with you in a minute. <laughs> Drop. Come here. Mabel. Mabel, come here. Right, sit down. I've got your own toy. Are you ready? Hey, A lucid dream. And we embraced for the first time We never did when he was alive On oh, our I could You know I would On oh, our I could You know I would And I those memories Hmm. Not very happy with it. <laughs> of course. I've done. I've made a bit of a major oh. error, which it, it's easily done. But we're gonna have a little look at it and see if I can fix it. Otherwise, all in the bin. Oh. <laughs> right. So what's happened here? <laughs> this was supposed to be my final layer. Um, so I'm not happy with this dark sky matching the same colour as this man here. What I should have done, if we take a look at this piece of lino, see I've cut out the faces of the buildings which has let that colour through from the last layer. What I actually should have done was left them alone and cut out the sky. So the sky would have stayed a lighter colour and it would have had darker buildings on it and then this character would have been darker and that would have offset it better because at the moment we've got dark, dark and more dark. So it's looking a bit odd. But I think what I can do now to try and rescue it, hopefully, is cut the sky out on the piece of lino so that will stay this colour. And I'm going to make this character even darker, maybe with just some hints of navy blue and some hints of navy blue around the buildings and hopefully that will um, get it back to somewhere <laughs> that looks all right <laughs> we'll see how we get on so i've tried to correct this now by removing this sky see, we're already very dark on this picture so the chances of pulling it back are quite slim um and i've taken more details out of this character and the dog and just to let a bit of the lighter colour through because we're now adding a darker colour onto something that's already very dark. Hopefully um, we might be able to fix this. So this is how it looks now. I, so I cut the sky off the lino and I left these um, borders around the buildings and that all seems to be working. There's now more detail than ever on the person and the dog. But the buildings still look crap in my opinion. <laughs> so I've done one like that and I've just cut the buildings off. And so for this one, just the character and the dog are now in that navy and the buildings are just setting themselves back in the background because there's no blue outline. And that looks so much better. 
So that's that one. Just makes the buildings look like square blocky nonsense. But now they're just set in the background. So I think I managed to save that, Hannah. <laughs> so it turned out in the, all right in the end, didn't it? It did, yeah. Yeah, so they're nearly all gone now. And there's a couple left if anyone does want one. And so thank you. So yeah, so thank you to everyone that bought the prints. And yeah. it just sort of goes to show really, didn't it, that you don't <laughs> throw it all away at the last minute. No, just, you just it just tell you can there's always a way, isn't there? Yeah. Just Where there's a have will a little think. Yeah. there's a way. Mm -hmm. Nice. trouble you look very comfortable got your apprentice with you today have you yeah <laughs> keeping my leg warm <laughs> a bit chilly Aww. right it is time for our first artist of the week segment and our first artist of the week is an old friend of mine manami and she's a really talented human being. I know her from my dancing days and I'm really excited for you to see her work. So over to you, Manami. Hi there, everyone. My name is Minami. I'm an alcoholic artist. Uh, first of all, massive thanks to Hannah and Ant for having me on this fantastic video. I'm absolutely thrilled, especially because Hannah and I go way back to our dancing days. And now, after a decade and a half, I can't believe it's been so long, a decade and a half, we're rekindling our connection through the world of art. This late, it's a little soon to speak of love, as if love is something I can speak of. Speak to me of coming home, recalling what was... I come from the contemporary dance background, and I've been dancing on stage, performing, uh, teaching, until about three and a half years ago. Calling what was always known, sitting in my all aloneness, anchored with a weight of groundless. You were always looking around. I had this major but pretty routine neck operation due to an injury, but things didn't go as planned. The operation went wrong. Unfortunately, um, initially I held on to the hope of getting back on stage again someday, performing again, but I'm slowly coming to terms with the fact that it might not happen. Uh, during my rehab journey, I needed something to keep me occupied and that's when I started doodling just just random patterns and lines at first then eventually I discovered alcohol ink on social media it was love at first sight I jumped online grabbed all the supplies I could find and I became a self-taught artist with um, the help of YouTube tutorials 
So when I paint, I usually go in totally unplanned. I like improvising and see what happens. So I move the ink with airbrush or a hairdryer and see how the ink wants to move and then I react to it. It's like a back and forth between me and the ink. That's how I paint, yeah. And sometimes I still use fine line pen, do some line work. So yeah, my art keeps evolving as I keep evolving. And yeah, we'll see, we'll see what happens, where it goes. I was holding all this time All this time I've been looking all this time Turning so much to Manami for sharing her story and her beautiful work. If you want to go and see the full videos, head over to the link below. You'll get to see her in full flow and also the beautiful videography work of her husband, Ben. I know how devastated Manami was when she had to step away from dance. I was too. It's a tricky transition, but it just goes to show there are other avenues out there just when you need them. And of course, imagination, creativity and the arts is what makes us human. And so with that being said, we're going to settle into this new season, put the fire on and cosy up and we will see you in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. Do make sure to like and subscribe and we'll see you soon. Bye. Right, guys, it's time for us. <laughs> right. Right, you lot. <laughs> I don't know where the camera is. There. And he's like, where are your eyes? I'm like, I don't know. Oh, God. Why can't I? Oh, God. Watch fingers. Watch fingers. How much capture you have?